Jeff Kermichero, a former Temecula mayor and city council member, and barber Eli Radford met when Jeff needed a haircut. I was a bit uncomfortable because of Eli's appearance and without knowing anything else, just because I've always been averse to tattoos and piercings and things that younger people take for granted. Because I get a lot of new clients. I saw Jeff and I knew he was like my next client, so I was a little bit nervous because I didn't really know how we'd get on. I realized that he was a cool guy. The more I cut his hair, we kind of were able to open up to each other and it was pretty cool. The thing that I noticed almost immediately when we started talking, there's a certain honesty about Eli that just pervades and, and like comes off of, of him. And it, it, it's very appealing, you know, it's a, you don't see that in too many people, especially people who um, we may view as a little bit different. As Jeff and Eli's friendship grew, they realized that if their perceptions can change, other people can too. I was actually sitting right here in this chair, getting my hair cut. And by then, it was clear that we had become friends, which seemed very odd to both of us. I said, this is crazy that we're friends. We ought to write a book about it. Jeff, I mean, he's a pretty open book, you know, but for me, I'm a little more reserved and I don't really share a whole lot, like, in the public eye. Jeff kind of helped me along the way. Yeah, I, the way we wrote it intentionally was that Eli tells the story of his life, I tell the story of mine, and then there are places in the book where we come together. But we wanted them to be different because we wanted to really demonstrate the differences between us. While the writing process was difficult at times, it made their bond stronger. It was definitely an experience that I don't think I would have even opened up half of the things that I talked to him about. I saw a very obvious change in Eli from when we started to this point in both the writings and personally. There's been a growth there, and we talked about it a little bit at one time. Since the book's release, the local response has been overwhelmingly positive and accepting. We had fully expected some pushback, but we've got just universal acceptance, and it's been so gratifying. It was important to kind of share our friendship and how other people can become friends with queer trans people that maybe they've never met before or they're nervous about meeting. Jeff and Eli's story serves as a positive example that everyone can change if they open their hearts and minds.